All right, so now let's look at the anatomy of an alarm. So here is the diagram for the alarm, and this is gonna make sense here in a moment. So the threshold condition, it defines uh, uh, when a data point is breached, okay? So what you're doing is you're defining this line, and whatever's above it is breached or below it. Those rules can change based on some conditions. You have your metric. This is the actual data we are measuring. Um, and a metric could be something such as network in, okay? So that's that. You have your data point. This represents the, uh, the metrics measurement at a given period. Then you have the period. This is how often it checks to evaluate the alarm, which apparently is not true. It doesn't mean the data becomes uh, available. It's actually always five minutes, I believe. Um, but anyway, that's the period of data points that will be collected. Then you have the evaluation period. So this is the number of previous periods. And then you have data points to alarm. So this is uh, for one data point is breached. An evaluation period is, is going to go back four rules. So this is what actually triggers the alarm. That one you want to pay, uh, pay close attention to there. So there you go.